Hey guys, it's Abelard here, back again with another review, and today we are having a look at Hardcase from Ultraforce. These were made by a Galoob back in 94, 95, I don't know, 94, 95 were big years for action figures because there was a lot of different lines out at the time. Um, he is one of the five I have left. I have six, but I did one of them already. That was Ghoul, uh, back in 13 Days of Halloween, so if you missed that, you can check that out. Uh, it'll be more likely than not the first video on the Ultra Force playlist. Oh, shoot. And, uh, excuse me if I'm half asleep, I had to get up early to sign up for my next batch of classes at college, so. Yeah. <laughs> it's a pain in the butt. But, uh. I'm having a look at Hardcase here. He's got the most ridiculous banana, banana, <laughs> I can't even talk, banana shaped ponytail I've ever seen, but whatever. He's alright. He looks like Frankenstein though. He looks like, He's <laughs> funny as hell. But, um, he does have this vac metal on him, which looks pretty, pretty nice. Um, he does have, uh, some shoulder and elbow articulation here. Can't get the elbow to bend, like, 90 degrees, which isn't bad. And then the hips are the same way. He's got a hinge in the knee there as well. But, yeah, uh, hard case is... Not too much. He's got this little belt. Looks like a chain. Yeah, it is a chain. And he's got this vac metal piece. Other than that, he's all black. Well, no, he's got some little... He's got a little deco on his boots there. And his gloves. A little chain thing going around him. But that's it. Not a lot. Um, basically, uh, here he is next to Prime... I believe he's the second in command. Mine's leg is a little lopsided, but there you go. Uh, knocked him over somehow. But uh, there you go. There's the two of them. We'll be having a look at Prime tomorrow. Don't worry. <laughs> um, hard case does come with this crazy glider which is pretty neat um, it's got some nice details on it although it looks very impractical because there are fins facing this way and that way so it seems very impractical to me so maybe that's just me but I don't think he's going to be getting anywhere <sighs> Excuse me. I don't think he's going to be getting anywhere uh, on that. But what do I know? I'm just an 18 year old who took physics and knows all about that kind of crap. <laughs> I'm just going to peg him in off camera here. Bear with me. Son of a gun. There we go. 
And then once you get them in, you can fold this uh, cage down and snap it into place. Uh, I'm not going to do that just to save time. Uh, it is snapped down in the picture. It doesn't really make a difference. But yeah, the glider is a nice little accessory. You can have them flying around and stuff. So yeah, uh, that's pretty much it though for a uh, hard case here. He doesn't have too much going on. He's pretty bland in terms of, you know, anything. <laughs> but, um, yeah, he does come with this neato little glider. And if you want to see the snapped in, there you go. Uh, in the box, this piece is actually separate, so you do have to attach it to the clip or hinge deal up there. Other than that, it's nothing special. So hard case, I'm going to give an 8 to just because this gimmick's kind of weak and doesn't make a lot of sense. He's no ghoul to say the least, so yeah, I'm going to just flat up give him an 8. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this review. Stay tuned, we're going to have a look at Prime next. And until next time, catch you guys. Later.